course, I, I love the US Open and I think, um, you know, I have um, so many fans here and, um, you know, I think it's, uh, uh, it's a tournament that I always look forward to. I think it was a little bit unfortunate scheduling um, this year. Um, you know, I think there's ways to respect players and respect rankings and respect people who have done well here in the past and, uh, you know, um, there was a few things that could have been, um, I think, a little better and, um, yeah, th that's that. But at the end of the day, regardless of where you play, um, she played really well today and she deserved to win. Any examples of what you want changed? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, putting out a schedule where the number five in the world is playing court five, fifth match on after 11, I think that's unacceptable. Um, you know, and when you look on center court, I understand completely the business side of things and everything, but um, someone who comes back from a drug sentence and, um, you know, performance enhancing drugs and then, you know, all of a sudden gets to play every single match on, on center court, I think that's a questionable um, thing to do. Um, you know, I think it doesn't set a good example. And uh, I think someone who has fought their way back from injury and, and is five in the world deserves to play on a bigger court than court number five. And, uh, you know, finally they, they moved us to court 17, which is a really nice court actually. And we had a we had great um, atmosphere out there. But um, yeah, I, I think they probably should um, sometimes look into uh, to, um, to, to what they need to do in the future. I mean, regards to scheduling, as you know, I don't make the schedule, and, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty big competitor, and if you put me out in the parking lot of Queens in New York City, I'm happy to play there. That's not what matters to me. All that matters to me is I'm in the fourth round, and, yeah, I'm not sure where she is.